Hi everyone! I actually have a project share. Whoa my god, really? <laughs> I actually completed something. Um, I know I've been very slow at crafting lately and I'm so sorry for that. It's just, you know my health issues. So, um, I got this wishing well from Saw Crafters and I'll put the link to her store and her YouTube channel down below. Um, it comes, uh, you know, unpainted and unfinished and you have to put it together, but it's super simple to put together. Um, so I got the wishing well, put it together, um, I painted it gray, and then um, I wanted it to have a rock effect down here, you know, like a stone wall type, you know, and I want it to look kind of old and, you know, whatever. And so I um, I hand drew all of these on here and I think it came out pretty good. I did not do the sides and the back because I used a Sharpie marker for this and my marker ran out of ink. So, <laughs> um, I only got the front done. Uh, so, uh, one thing I did add to this, and I'm sorry that it might be a shaky video because I'm holding the camera and we all know that's never a good combination <laughs> for me. Um, but I want to show you um, what I did here. Uh, you see the dowel going across with the string and then the bucket hanging from it? I added that. That did not come in the kit. Um, and basically what I did is I just took a dowel. I painted it gray. Uh, I took some uh, jute twine, wrapped it around the dowel, and then tied it to the bucket. And this is a bucket... Uh, that I got uh, at Hobby Lobby in the miniature uh, dollhouse uh, section. And then I just added some flowers inside the uh, little bucket. And on the sides, I had gotten these uh, sprays in a swap that I did probably two years ago. And I've been saving them just for the right occasion, and I thought this was the right occasion. So I used two of the uh, two of the sprays on this side and just wrapped them around and I added a bunch of um, rose leaves um, to kind of fill in some of the empty spa space and I did that on both sides and here's the other side and then on the roof I didn't do too awful much I took a ruler and a sharpie marker and I just drew lines I did it on both sides of the roof and I'm what I really wanted to do is make this a wood grain so it would look like wood slats but I didn't get that far with it and um, I'm pretty pleased with how it looks anyways um, and then last but not least I added this super cute little bird on the top and um, it's funny my dog Barney I showed this to him and he thought this was a real creature. He was sniffing all around here and <laughs> checking it out. <laughs> it was really cute. I should have got that on video, but I didn't. Darn it. So anyway, um, there's my wishing well. And I'm really uh, pleased with how it turned out. And uh, uh, please go check out Saw Crafters on uh, YouTube and check out her Zibit store. I'll put the links down below. I thank you all for watching. I so appreciate you guys. I hope you have a wonderful evening and happy crafting. Bye-bye.